Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today on Effects Explained, I'm going to talk about wah, or wah wah, or wah 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 wah, or whatever you will call it. Um, what it really is, is um, it's a mid boost, actually, um, with a very uh, a special mid frequency range, and... Um, and you vary that, so um, yeah, maybe I'll just show a picture. Uh, you can take this for instance. You have uh, this is what a uh, wawa pedal uh, makes to the sound when uh, you have the heel pressed down on a wawa pedal because it's a foot control pedal. You get a frequency boost in the low mid section, um, and then as you press the button. Um, you get a bit boost in the high frequency of the mid section. So, um, yeah, let's show you how this uh, affects the sound. Uh, well, first, here's my clean sound. Then I'm going to show you what a uh, wah Pedal sounds like in the like heel position when it's way back. And then you press the pedal down and you get the frequency boost in the high mid section. It sounds like this. Yeah, and that wasn't really interesting, was it? Uh, but uh, when they discovered that they could put this in a pedal and vary it, well, that's when the magic happened. And the Volvo pedal can look, um, yeah, something like this. Or maybe something like this. Or even something like this. Uh, to name uh, who plays Wawa pedals is harder than to name the ones that don't. Um, basically, everyone is using a Wawa pedal. Um, all the great solo guitarists like Steve Weiss, Joe Satriani. Yeah, all those guys use Wawa pedals. Um, yeah. Basically everyone, uh, people that are very famous for using it, that use it all the time, uh, are like uh, Kirk Hammett uses very, uh, basically all his solos. Yeah, yeah. as I said, basically everyone uses wah pedals. Uh, okay, so what does it sound like when you actually push the pe uh, pedal down while playing? Well, then the magic starts. So here is the wah wah as it's supposed to be used. Yeah, and then, uh, well, you should add some distortion to that to see what it does with it. And uh, yeah, they really go along like milk and cookies distortion and wawa. So here we have it with uh, a little more gain and distortion. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, another popular way, uh, popular way of using a wah pedal is to leave it in uh, a middle position. As you heard, the low uh, frequency and the high frequency they weren't really interesting. But when you put it in the middle and it uh, emphasizes the um, the frequencies that are close to what a human voice is, you get this very talkative sound. Uh, yeah, and they usually call this uh, using a, a cocked uh, wah wah where it's stuck in the middle. Uh, and that's, yeah, guys like Michael Schenker, hmm. yeah, some other guys. If you want, by the way, Randy Rhodes' signature sound, well, he, I think he used the Wawa and had it on all the time, actually. So when he was playing even the rhythm, he probably used this technique of having it stuck in one, just one stage of the Wawa. So here is a cocked wah. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I talked about uh, Wawa on the Effects Explained. So, see you soon.